Hello and welcome to the Soy Tough Manufacturing Facility in Tucson, Arizona. The following video will demonstrate two methods that we practice at Soy Tough. The first method you'll see in the photo here, our, our applicator is using a two and a half gallon pot sprayer. It's not in the in the video clip, but there's about a 25 foot hose here. It'll hold two and a half gallons of material. Very easy to spray out. Um, as you can see, the walls are still taped off uh, from the previous uh, staining and, and videos that we did. Uh, he, the, the applicator is putting this down in about a two to three mil thickness. We find that's much easier to do uh, two, maybe three applications of a thinner coat. Because if you put it on real thick, you're going to have to back roll it and it just becomes a hassle. We find that it's far easier to uh, put a couple of thin coats on. Uh, if you see in the picture here, I don't know if it's clear enough, uh, it's a milky white uh, while it's wet, but it will turn perfectly clear once it's dried. This would be the second method of application that we teach here at our boot camps. Uh, if, as you can see, the applicator just literally dumped uh, a small stream of, of soy coat sealer on the floor and he's using a T-bar uh, which kinda acts like a squeegee. It's got a foam pad on it, a nylon and foam round pad, but it doesn't roll. It just drags along. Uh, this coating is going to be a top coat, so we're going to use a lightweight T-bar. There's two styles, a lightweight and a heavyweight. The lightweight weighs about three to four pounds. The heavyweight weighs about seven to eight pounds. The heavyweight we use more for penetrating sealers that we want to burnish in a little bit harder. Um, as you can see, the applicator's got a nice, smooth, milky, uh, white coat on on the surface that'll dry perfectly clear and you don't need to worry about any streaks you don't want any puddling but streaks will be okay our formula with the soy esters and the uh, uh, chelating type agents that we use for for leveling out uh, work excellent so any minor uh, streaks that you might see in the project will be just fine the stuff dries crystal clear and it, it dries flat as glass now the main key to this is holding the squeegee or the uh, uh, T-handle on a, about a 45 so that you're actually like a snowplow you're pulling the material away from what's already spread out and what's what's nice about this is it's very easy to apply as you can see there's no tape on the walls no no plastic it's really a good method for for the uh, the novice or the beginner or the first time uh, DIYer it goes on very easily, very smooth. That room literally can be done in less than 10 minutes uh, on a typical situation, which this is. And when it's dry, we, we like to intercoat, give it about one to two hours of dry times on intercoating. And then it'll take light traffic in about six hours. Um, we try to tell people, let it dry for six to 12 hours, and then you can put regular normal traffic on it in 24 hours and then full cure on this product to be five to seven days Here's what the final product looks like. Uh, both rooms have the eco canvas put on them. Then we stained them. If you've seen the previous videos, one room got uh, sprayed on the lighter room, which we're looking into right now. And both colors are exactly the same. Um, just two different methods of application, uh, both with the sealers and the stain. 
Uh, the first room we sprayed with the spray pot, second room we used a foam pad applicator, a flat one, to apply the stain. And you can see right in the doorway here, there's a distinct difference in color uh, as far as just because of method of application. Both rooms have the eco canvas, both rooms used the same color uh, soy stain. And then we put a penetrating sealer in this room and then in the adjacent room we put a top coat sealer. Um, it's just a preference uh, for some people. Both sealers work very very well. Uh, these, these type of ma um, rooms are very low maintenance. Uh, when you get this in uh, all you have to do is damp mop it. Uh, mostly dry mop it. We recommend dry mopping then damp mop uh, depending on how much usage and how dirty it gets once once every couple of weeks or so and wet mop maybe every six months they're super easy to take care of.